we have on Milwaukee. Who knows what it is? Hey guys, how you doing? Andrew here, some guy with tools. Today we're taking a look at full-size cordless reciprocating saws. First off, we have the brand new DeWalt FlexVolt Advantage. It's the DCS386. We have the Hilti SR6-A22. We have the Milwaukee 2621-20. And we have the Metabo SSE18 LTXBL. All four of these models do include LEDs. I take that back. The, the Milwaukee does not. Okay guys, jumping right in. We're going to start off with the bare tool weight. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the blade end here on this scale and the handle end here on this scale and see is it blade heavy, is it handle heavy, is it pretty well balanced. Let's check it out. Coming in at less than five and a half pounds, Metabo has the lightest saw by a long shot. Nearly one and a half pounds worth of a long shot between it and the second lightest, Milwaukee. The other three, Milwaukee, Hilti, and DeWalt, weigh in over seven pounds, with the DeWalt closer to eight than it is seven. For these tests, we will be giving each saw its own set of Diablo reciprocating saw blades. These blades will be used for an equal number of cuts throughout the testing in order to eliminate this as a factor. The blades used will vary by material being cut and a full explanation of which blades were used will be included in the comparison write-up coming to our website. Additionally, with the exception of the 2.5 inch black pipe, I will not rock or push the saws through any of the cuts. A 10 pound weight is hung from each saw and I do my best to keep the saw level the whole way through the cut. Obviously, additional pressure or rocking the saw aids the cut, so with this approach we can try to eliminate as much of the user input as possible. Each saw performed each test three times, and the average of those times will be shown on the screen. The Metabo and DeWalt easily took care of the 4x6 cutting through in just 10 seconds each, while the Milwaukee and Hilti saws took twice as long coming in at 20 and 22 seconds apiece. Cross-cutting a clean 2x12 was no problem for any of the saws, however the Metabo and DeWalt came out ahead once again at 7 seconds apiece, and the Milwaukee and Hilti finished in 13 seconds. In this round I sunk 10 16 penny framing nails into the 2x12. Once again the Metabo made easy work of the cut finishing in just 9 seconds. DeWalt followed closely behind at 11 seconds with Hilti and Milwaukee finishing after that. In this test, the saws each cut through doubled up 2x6s. Metabo continued to show its dominance, finishing the cut in just 11 seconds, right on course with its 10 second cut time through the pressure treated 4x6. Milwaukee and Hilti decreased their average cut times down to just 17 seconds, while DeWalt experienced the most drastic increase and doubled its time up to 20 seconds.
This test put the saws up against thick walled 2.5 inch commercial fire sprinkler pipe. This time the DeWalt cut through the quickest at just 20 seconds followed by the Metabo at 24 and Milwaukee at 26. Hilti had the most difficulty and finished at 36 seconds. All the saws ran through the metal stud with ease, coming in with essentially the same time, right at 6-7 to seven seconds. Cutting through a stud and double layered sheetrock at the same time may lead to different results. Three inch Schedule 40 PVC once again was no match for these saws. Metabo, Hilti, and DeWalt all came in at 6 seconds while Milwaukee finished in 9. This test is arguably the least scientific of the bunch. However, each saw made a cut from both the trunk end of the branch and the outward end. In theory, they each cut through a similar amount of material. With that said, the Metabo once again finished on top at just 42 seconds of cut time. DeWalt came in just behind it at 43 seconds and Hilti at 49. Milwaukee rounded out the group at 1 minute and 6 seconds. After all the tests are tallied up, Metabo walks away as our winner. Its significantly lighter weight leads to reduced user fatigue, paired with its strong cutting performance through all of our materials in quickest total time, leads me to confidently say that Metabo SSE 18 LTX BL is the best saw in the competition. Second place goes to the DeWalt DCS 386 with FlexVolt Advantage. Interestingly, the cutting performance actually decreased when the DeWalt was paired with a FlexVolt battery. This is definitely going to call for further testing of the DeWalt unit itself, and I will have more to come on that very soon. Third place was a much closer race, however, it ultimately goes to the Hilti SR6A22. When weighing all the tests, the Hilti was 9 seconds faster than the Milwaukee 2621-20, but if you exclude the pecan tree branch, the least controlled test in our sequence, then the Milwaukee actually pulls ahead of the Hilti by 8 seconds. If you like this video and want to stay up to date with tool reviews and comparisons, first looks and more as we post them, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to turn on notifications. Check out our website, someguywithtools.com and Instagram at someguywithtools.